Um, well, I didn't feel great last night, so I wanted to make sure that uh, after a long game last night, you know, you never know how the team's going to come out. If we have legs, we don't have legs. That was a long one last night. Um, I thought we battled pretty well considering that we played almost five periods last night, but I knew that I had to be a little bit better tonight. And, uh, you know, I thought it was sharp in the first period and continued the rest of the game. How did you get your legs back? Um, honestly, I, I felt good when I woke up this morning. I was a little sore last night out to dinner, but um, got a good night's sleep, woke up, and, um, you know, I played back-to-back -back this year a few times, so, um, you know, I'm used to it. It's like Space Jam. Is it Michael's secret stuff? Did you have anything special, any remedies? No, nothing like that. Uh, try to drink a lot of water, get some rest, and, uh, you know, make sure you get enough sleep to, uh, to get ready for today. Do you see guys feed off you when you are put up a zero like that? Yeah, I think so. You see, uh, when you make a couple saves like that, then you know guys want to sell out and block some shots. And especially when you know you're carrying a zero late in the game, you uh, you see guys really trying to get it. But I mean, guys were going to do that regardless because it was only a one goal game anyways. So um, I thought we did a great job defensively. Down the stretch of the season, there's a bunch of one goal games. How did the kind of the adverse situations, the one goal games, the tight games, help you guys right now? Yeah, we. We played so many teams that were fighting for playoff spots late in the season, so we were playing uh, playoff hockey the last uh, probably month of the season, and we were also trying to catch Toledo for the first place. And um, so, you know, we we used those games as as prep for you know round one, and I thought we responded pretty well in games one and two. Uh, you know, they were maybe a little slow at the start. I thought uh, both teams looked maybe a little lethargic in the first. Uh, I thought we were. A little patient at the start, but uh, you know we turned it on the second, third period. I think we found our legs towards the end of the game. Um, you know it's ty typical of our team to have good third periods. So uh, overall, I thought we we dug deep and, and worked hard and found a way to win. How much do you feed off when Hauser's got a goose egg up there? Yeah, I mean he was playing great for us tonight. So he made some big saves, some timely saves. Uh, you know he was definitely our star player tonight, and it definitely gets the bench fired up when we see him make a save. Uh, you know, there was one in the third we saw, uh, he, the guy wind up, we had the good angle and it was going in and he sprawled out and made a good blocker save, uh, you know, and the bench was fired up. So, uh, yeah, he was a huge catalyst for us tonight. A double overtime is always a wearing on the goaltender. Did Michael have some Michael's secret stuff like Space Jam or anything? Yeah, I'm not sure what he did. Uh, you know, uh, like I was saying, the, the rest of us looked a little lethargic in the first, but, uh, you know, he, he came out and played like Superman tonight. So uh, it, it was great. Whatever whatever he did, he's got to keep doing it. Uh, you know, he played a great game, and, and all props to him. Down the stretch, you guys played a bunch of one-goal games, a bunch of tight games against good competition. How is that benefiting you right now? Yeah, I think that's that, that's been great for us. Uh, you know, we're playing teams that were fighting to get in the play playoffs and uh, every game was important for our opponents so it forced us to to play the right way and, and find ways to win I think we we struggled a little bit but we uh, you know we were short bodies and stuff like that and that's you know sometimes things you run into in the playoffs so uh, that little bit of adversity for us towards the end of the year I think you know with young guys coming in the lineup you, you kind of learn to play the game and it was they were good games for us and close games and uh, you know that's definitely part of uh, the preparation I think we had for the playoffs. What do you need to focus on going into their place, a tough place that you guys haven't had a whole lot of success? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we got to forget the past, you know, however we've de we've played in there. It's, uh, I think it's a big ice surface out there. There's lots of room and, uh, you know, for the way we play, I think it's good for us. So, um, you know, it's important for us to go, go in there and, uh, you know, with a real business-like uh, approach and, uh, play discipline and, and stick to our systems and, and just keep playing the way we, we have and I think we'll find success. Pretty heavy like when I woke up in the morning but we drink a lot of water we re have a really good recovery routine a lot of us like really take pride in that so once we got like our legs going the first couple shifts like got a hit in there went in hard it was all good so. How much do you feel to feed off a guy like Hauser that has a when he puts up a Tuesday? Well it's all about yeah like your goaltending you need goaltending anyone you talk to NHL teams AHL teams if you don't have a good goalie, you're never going to win. And we have two of them. So, like, the way Hauser plays, it really allows us to play our game and, like, be tr have trust in the D zone. When you're in between the pipes as a goalie, he's getting a lot of work and those legs got to be hurting. Did Michael have any secret stuff like Space Jam or anything? Michael's secret stuff? Oh, no. I, you know what? He just battles hard. He's Again, he's one of the best positional goalies out there, probably the best in our league. And you see it every day in practice. He's always working on the little details. And so we're lucky to have him and have Marts out there. So it's awesome.
down the stretch, you guys played a bunch of tight games, a bunch of wall-to-wall games. How is that benefiting you guys right now? Well, again, like offense, we always talk about in the season, it's easy to get offense and score a lot of goals, which we did. But down the stretch is really, it was awesome that we got a lot of those close games. We lost a lot of them. We lost a lot of them. It happens, but we learned from it. And it was it was really good that we were able to take those lessons and translate them to the game and learn to play tighter defensively and wait for our opportunities.